Hey guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this tutorial, we will talk about the difference between the standard and the custom object. As we discussed in the previous tutorial is standard objects are the objects that are given to you by Salesforce objects like account, lead, opportunity, etc. Those are the standard objects that they come out of the box. The custom object is the object that you create based on your business needs. So if your company deals with dealers, car dealership, then you'll create certain objects like dealer object just to keep track of your dealers. If, you're, if your company works with um, hospitals around the world, then you're going to create an object just to keep track of the hospital, the patient, the doctors, etc. So those are specific to your business needs. Now, there are certain differences between what can you do with the standard objects and what you cannot do with them. So the first major difference is you cannot delete a standard object. And but if you want to delete a custom object, you can do that. Let's say by mistake, you created a custom object and you want to delete it. That option is available only for custom object. You cannot delete the existing standard objects that are given to you. You can skip to use them, but you can't delete it from your system. So basically, if I go over to the Salesforce org, you will see here that if I go to the object manager, these are all the standard list of objects that I have. And there is a custom object as well that I created is employee. And if I go over to this employee here, you can see that there are two buttons. One is to edit this employee object and the other one is to delete it. So if I want to delete this, object i can click on this delete button whereas this option is not available in any of the standard objects so if i wanted to let's say delete the account standard object i cannot do that because that option is not given to me by salesforce so you cannot delete a standard object but where you can delete the custom object that is the first difference between a standard and a custom object now, the next thing is you cannot change the grant access using hierarchies sharing access for the standard object. But whereas for a custom object, you can change this grant access using hierarchies sharing access. Now, we will learn more about what does this setting mean when we talk about profiles and roles. But just for your understanding, you will see that you will not be able to change this setting for the standard object, but you will be able to change this setting for the custom object. So where is this setting defined? So if you go over to the Salesforce and you go to the setup here and in this quick find, if you look for sharing settings, if I go ahead and look for sharing settings, you will find that this is the sharing settings there and then this is the sharing settings for all the objects and when i click on the edit you can see this is the setting that they're that they are talking about is grant access using the hierarchies now if i go over to the edit this checkbox is completely disabled for all these standard objects that are there so you can see here it's completely disabled up till this last point which is only enabled for one object, which is the employee, and this is the custom object that I have created. So you can see here, only setting that I can change, the grant access using hierarchy setting can only be changed for a custom object. It cannot be changed for the standard object that is there. So all these standard objects have a default sharing which already been enabled. Okay, grant access using hierarchy is already being enabled for all the standard objects. So that is the second difference between the standard and the custom object. Now, the third is we cannot truncate the standard object, but you can truncate the custom objects. Truncate means that if you wanted to keep the object, but remove all the data associated or the records associated with that object, you can do it only for the custom objects, but you cannot truncate the standard objects. Truncate means you can delete the records associated with the object, but the object will still remain. So how do I enable the truncation? So in order to make sure that you are able to truncate the custom object, what you have to do is you have to go over to the quick find and look for user interface. And uh, we're going to dig deeper into different settings that are available in the user interface. But just for the timing, if you look for 
truncate here there is a option to enable the truncation the, the truncation of the custom object so if you enable this setting it you will be able to truncate a custom object but there is nothing like truncate available for a standard object so if you want to enable the truncate you have to click on this checkbox and hit the save button so this is the third difference that you have between a standard object and a custom object then the fourth difference is on a standard object you can create a custom field you can create any you can create custom fields on the standard objects and the custom object automatically comes up with some standard list of fields we have already looked at it when we talked about the employee object fields like created by owner last modified by those are the standard list of fields that are automatically added to you whenever you create a custom object so these are the difference between a standard and a custom object and another important difference is the naming convention whenever the you create a custom object it will always end with underscore underscore c that is the convention that is available for your custom object that it will always end with underscore underscore c where the c represents it's a custom object now if you go over to the any of these standard objects you will see they don't end with underscore underscore c so if you go over to the object manager this is the api name api name you can think like the name that you will be use in when you're writing code okay that is the actual name this label is basically a user friendly name but if you want to do anything with the account you have to use the api name for that object so similarly if you go scroll down and if you see here only one object will have underscore underscore c at the end and that is going to be a custom object so any of any time you create a custom object it will automatically end with underscore underscore c so if you see here employee you can see here the api name ends with underscore underscore c so these are the major difference so just to recap the first difference is you cannot delete a standard object but you can delete a custom object the second difference is underscore underscore c would be the one for the custom object third one is truncate you can truncate a custom object but you cannot truncate a standard object then the next thing that you have is grant access using hierarchy setting can only be checked or unchecked or can be changed only for custom object you cannot do it for the standard object and uh, you can add your own set of fields on the standard objects and custom object automatically have some set of standard fields automatically gets added when you create a custom object so these are the difference between a standard and a custom object in salesforce